Hey, what's going on guys, it's Rocco. Well, what you're looking at right now is a vending case of 1990 Tops baseball. Now, you may be asking yourself, Rocco, why on earth did you buy a vending case of 1990 Tops baseball? Well, I'll tell you. Um, I've, I, needed, I felt like I needed a project of some kind. Um, I, I don't really need to do a, a collection reorganization. Uh, so I, I figured, you know, I'm just going to, you know, get a vending case of some junk wax set and just sort. It's because I feel like it. And by the way, a vending case is 24 boxes of 500 cards each. That's 12,000 cards. And that is a very creepy looking young man looking at that card, by the way. <laughs> well, the reason I chose 90 tops was because I figured that I might as well take a swing at that that no name on front Frank Thomas rookie that's super rare. You know, I mean, it's very unlikely that would be in here, but it's worth, it's worth taking a swing at it. And also there's a, um, a really rare commemorative card of George H.W. Bush, uh, of him in his Yale baseball uniform from back in the day. That's a very rare card. That card was not supposed to go into circulation, but it found its way into uh, 90 tops. And it's a very valuable car. So I figured, you know, this whole thing, it cost me 120 bucks. It's five dollars a box. I'm like, dude, let's let's take let's take a swing at it and see what happens. If nothing else, it's gonna be really fun. I'll have a bunch of Frank Thomas rookie cards, even if they do have the name on the front. So that's always a good thing. Well, I'm recording this the uh, the night of the national championship football game. Oh, they're in a commercial right now. But, uh, yeah, Clemson is whooping Alabama. But, yeah, uh, it's probably going to take me about a, at least a week or two to sort through all of this. And uh, I will go ahead and end the video here. Oh, by the way, in case y'all don't know, uh, let me – I happen to hold the mic in my hand here. Hold on a second. In case y'all don't know, a vending box – it's just 500 cards. It's a great way to collect these junk wax sets because they're uh, gum stain free, wax stain free. They're just super clean cards. It's a great way to collect uh, these junk wax sets. But uh, yeah, well, I'll go ahead and end the video here and I will post this video here in a couple of weeks or so, whenever I get done sorting this all out. I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna get seven complete sets out of this. So we're, we're gonna find out. Anyways, I'll use the magic of video editing to put these videos together and I will see you then. All right, bye guys. Three weeks later. Wow, now that was a metric f ton of baseball cards. Okay, now we're going to see how many complete sets I got out of this vending case of 90 tops. I, my guess was seven. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 13 freaking complete sets of 1990 tops. Wow. Now, 
I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because it is 1990 tops. <laughs> but it is what it is. Okay, now here's a completely unnecessary and gratuitous shot of all of the complete sets set up in a pyramid. Now, let's see all of the uh all of the key uh the key singles and rookie cards that I got out of the set. To the table. Okay, now to the single cards. Now, here is uh an extra Frank Thomas. What I did, the cards that are in these top loaders, uh, they were the the best centered and, and with the least chipping cards of the lot that I found. These are the uh, extra leftover cards. So 14 Frank Thomases. This is the best of the bunch. So clearly I did not get a no name on front Frank Thomas, which was expected. But here's a here's a pretty nice 90 tops Frank Thomas rookie. So 14 Sammy Sosa cards. There's a pretty nice one there. 14, 15 Juan Gonzalez cards. Got three extra Bernie Williams rookie cards, who I always thought was a very underrated player. Not only was he a terrific guitarist, and he is a hell of a lot better than me, I'll tell you that. Uh, he was such a clutch player for the Yankees back in those uh, late 90s, early 2000s dynasty teams. So three extra Bernie Williams cards. A couple extra Albert Joey Bell cards there. And even though it's not a rookie, Love this card. I've never thought 90 Tops is a very good looking set, but this Ken Griffey Jr. second year card with a rookie cup. I thought it's a great picture of Ken. I think this is a terrific card right here. Very top loadable, so excellent. All right, and just star cards in general. 14 Nolan Ryan cards. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 George Bretts, uh, 14 Barry Bonds, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 Jose Canseco cards. Let's see, 14, 15, 16, 17 Roger Clemens. Love this card right here of Bo Jackson. This is definitely going in a binder if I don't have one in there already. Look at that picture. It's just like this picture just qu like is quintessential Bo Jackson with his power. Look at that bat flexing as he's hitting the ball. That's pure Bo Jackson right there. Man, it's such a shame what happened to him with that injury against the. Uh, when he was playing football in 91. So, Ricky, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 Ricky Henderson cards. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 Cal Ripkins. 14, 15, 16 Mark McGuire cards. Uh, 14 Greg Maddox cards. 15, 16, 17, 18, Tony Gwynn's. Well, guys, I certainly hope you have enjoyed this little experiment. Yes, science! With, uh, with a 90 tops or, or, or any tops vending case to see how many complete sets you can get out of a vending case. Well, this was a lot of fun for me, at least. It was. Uh, it took a lot longer than I expected because just the act, I had to take a lot of breaks because just the act of physically sorting out the cars, this repetitive motion, like started to like hurt my shoulder and elbow frequently. So I had to take breaks and everything. But <laughs> it, it was getting like repetitive stress injuries, not a good thing. So I had to take a lot of breaks and kind of take it easy, uh, do this in short chunks. But I got it done finally. It, it was a lot of fun. I caught, caught up on a lot of Dan Carlin hardcore history podcasts, which is a good thing. 
but yeah, this was a lot of fun for me. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, guys, take care, and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye-bye.